right, welcome everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, let me make sure it's recording. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. All right, welcome everybody. My name is Marnie Hernandez, and today we are doing um, St. Lucia. I think it is, which one is it today that we're doing? Um, I think it's, it's an expert one. Um, but right here, um, if you haven't registered yet, it is in our, um, ba, ba, ba. right here, we have it in our certificate workshop program that's in the um, incentive voucher group. It's right here. This will show you all the trainings we did, all the different training programs that we have available to you guys, okay? So it's all right here. Let me get the link. So we're doing St. Lucia today. Uh, let me get down here. So as you see here, we've done uh, this one last week. We're doing the expert today. And then next week we're doing romance expert, okay? So let me go ahead and copy, um, get link to this cell. All right, so I copied that and then she needs me to email it to her. So let me go ahead and email it. So has everybody registered? The end information above is um, what you need to register, okay? So make sure you do that. Uh, all right. Uh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay, so everybody's good. Um, just trying to find my, my own new mail, so I'll send it from this one. And you need me to send it to M O O R E V E S T I N dot travels at, at gmail.com. And this is Saint Lucia. All right, paste. There you go. All right, so welcome everybody. Uh, let me go ahead and change this. So I have you guys for some reason, my headphones aren't working. I got to work on that. So there's my speaker phones. There we go. Test. Everybody good? Somebody say one, two, three. Let me know you can hear me. All right, perfect. St. Lucia. All right, so we're registered now. So we're gonna to go to courses. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so we're doing St. Lucia expert program. Okay, it's right there. Oh, oh, I'm back. <laughs> it's raining here. So I don't know if that, Matt, you know, is the problem, but uh, okay, so I'm back. Hi guys, uh, can you see my screen? Let me reshare it. All right, so we should be here, St. Lucia Courses, um, Expert Program, Romance Expert, okay? So I think we're gonna do this one now and we're gonna do this one next week, okay? So hopefully everybody's here, ready to go. Um, again, if you're just registering, don't worry, it doesn't take that long. I got registered in, in two minutes. So if you need to get in and register, go for it, we have time. Um, if you're brand new with us. So what we do is we go through these courses. For one thing, yes, you're learning about these amazing destinations or amazing vendors that we have. So you can share it with your clients, okay? But besides getting the knowledge and all this exciting information, um, a lot of times you get invited on familiarization trip, fam trips, or free trips or very highly discounted trips where you get to come and learn about the locations. Um, Jamaica um, uh, is an amazing one. They give tons of, of um, fam trips all the time. I got to go for free, just paid my airfare for three free nights and had a butler, okay? Um, so you also get free promotional material. You get invited on like um, uh, lunch and learns and stuff. Um, register, yeah, you're gonna register for this. Uh, let me see if I have it here. It's gonna be St. Lucia, all right? Um, the link, just so you guys know, again, make sure you get into Facebook, look in the chats. I posted it yesterday, um, I think, or today I posted in all the chats today, um, all the, the link to sign up, okay? So Justin, very easy to sign up. Let me go ahead and get to the link again. Um, also, 
This link here will show you in yellow all the trainings we're doing to um, this month, um, all the ones that we have done, okay? So, uh, but this incentive voucher, if you haven't joined this group, please join it uh, because this is where I post for everybody. Everybody in the entire company can join this group and I post here all the time, okay? Um, so join this group. What was, uh, we went to, um, most of Sandals has them, but it was the Royal Plantation. Beautiful little one, um, little, um, uh, resort um right on the beach beautiful uh right next to uh, what was the other one we stayed we stayed at three when we were there sorry i'm getting old <laughs> they were sandals resorts yeah no beaches is a family resort so we stayed at sandals so anyway just so you guys know i always post right here here is the link for today so if you are um just getting on and need to get registered the links right there very easy to register and then i also posted archer travels information above um let me see if i can do it again uh, a lot of times it makes me select all so but it's right here under archer supplier credentials okay all right so i think we're all good again i have amazing leaders and agents on here to help me watch the chat box and again you know we're all one team we're all um you know i'm an agent just like you so you're in business for yourself but not by yourself guys okay we're all here to help each other uh so let's have some fun um and let's go ahead and get started on this training if i can find where i'm at <laughs> Okay, let me get back to it. Um, Got to close some stuff out. Make sure you guys get into this too. Fam travel for me. I'll show this. I'm actually doing a couple trainings this week, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing corporate training on Sunday, uh, learning about the different perks and marketing. And then uh, Monday, I get to do the team building for corporate. So I'm doing two corporate trainings. Oh, actually, my my corporate training for team building is on the 26th. But this Sunday I'm doing um, perks and marketing training. So join me for that on the um, Sunday night corporate training. All right, guys, so here we are, St. Lucia Expert Program. So a lot of people will either um, follow along on their phone and do the test online, or they'll do a split screen. But the main thing is, guys, you know, I prefer that you guys do it together because why have to go back and spend another hour or whatever doing it again right when you can just do it together with us now because we wait and make sure everybody um i put a home base or i put um i actually put an independent contractor i think it had um so again um you know do it with us we will wait and make sure everybody passes okay guys all right, so St. Lucia, let's check it out. And then has anybody been to St. Lucia? I have not, and it's on my bucket list. All right, so here's what we're gonna be going through. As you see, we have a quiz, okay? So, dear travel planner, and again, um, make sure, you know, if uh, watch the chat box, ask questions, we're all here for you guys, okay? So welcome to the awe-inspiring island of St. Lucia where arriving is just the beginning recognized as the only country in the world named for a woman she is known for her natural beauty and diverse attractions that will satisfy the appetite of most discerning traveler her cultural rich offerings include the bustling marketplace in the capital of castries quaint coastline yes perfect thank you in um uh quaint coastline fishing villages and internationally inspired cuisine some of her renowned offerings include the signature Paton mountains a unesco world heritage site our tropical rainforest the highly instagrammed mud bass at the sulfur springs park and the world's um only uh drive-in volcano which bears rich history of rejuvenating and restorative treatments St. Lucia's wide range of accommodations include five-star hotels, all-inclusive resorts, intimate inns, and value-oriented properties. Inspired by St. Lucian, Lucian um, culture, heritage, and popular island adventures. 
Um, yes, this is different. This is we're doing the expert program. So again, and next week we're doing uh, another one. So we have three different ones this month we're doing, correct. All right, the destination also offers uh, world-class cruise and yachting facilities. St. Lucia is continually recognized as one of the leading wedding and honeymoon destination worldwide. Destination St. Louis Lucia is one click away with major airlines and nonstop flights. Um, so come join in the most inspiring place on earth where you can take advantage of being a St. Lucia specialist and earn amazing rewards when you sell our stunning destination. Uh, do I not register? Mine says medium. What does medium mean? I don't know what, what you're seeing for medium. Justin, if you want to unmic yourself or if anybody else has seen medium, I didn't see that. Fine. Where do you guys put that? Is that something that's required? Again, only fill out what's required. Oh, yes, yes. Your password, yes. As long as it gets you by, that's I go, I go with it. Um, Alyssa, you put your information, but under under where it says company, you put Archer Travel. Okay. Always, always, company will be Archer Travel and their information, which is right here. Okay. All right. So we finished this. Oops. All right. So now we're going to, I can't get on the site with laptop. Um, you should be able to. Um, anybody else have any trouble getting on with their laptop? Okay but you did get registered on your phone. That's strange. Okay. Um, try a different email. <laughs> All right, keep trying again. We'll wait for you for the test. Keep your ears open. All right. All right. So the fairy, fairest aisle, okay? And also I wanted to let you guys know again, um, please forgive me for some of my mispronunciations of some words, okay? Giving you a heads up that you guys can correct me all you want. Um, I appreciate it, okay? All right, so think of all the things that Caribbean vacation used to engender serenity, great natural beauty, crystal clear waters, fine dining and a slow paced island ambiance where all your problems are days away. The influx of mega resorts, mega cruise ships and fast food venues has on some islands done away with that traditional image of the unspoiled Caribbean. But there's at least one West Indies destination um, where the true exotic Caribbean experience is alive, well, and thriving, and the beautiful and captivating island of St. Lucia. In the St. Lucia Expert uh, SLEX program, you'll find all the information you'll need to provide your clients with an enrapt enrapturing vacation. Indeed, it's one of the most classic Caribbean vacation experiences that's available today with resorts that run the gamut from all inclusive to luxury villas, classic inns, as well as boutique hotels with spas and wellness programs in settings that will take your breath away and make you understand why St. Lucia has become known as the premier romance destination and an emerging family destination. In fact, as you'll find in the destination wedding, honeymoon and romance section, which is what we're doing next week, guys, um, <clears throat> section of this course, the French have left a lasting legacy of la amour in their in this romantic paradise, making it one of the most popular destination wedding and honeymoon hotspots in the Caribbean. Of course, nothing generates romance more than the beauty and the natural setting of this gorgeous island with the splendor of the UNESCO World Heritage P Piton Mountains reaching into the clear blue skies washed clean by the trade winds and framing this tropical Shangri-La in a pattern of lush greenery. This is all set off by the exploding colors of the tropical trees and plants, 
fed by gushing natural waterfalls and crystalline streams. Clients will love the island's palm fringed black and white sand beaches and crystal clear waters, not to mention its beautiful hiking trails filled with colorful and exotic bird life. All of this natural beauty and romance has spawned an opportunity for unique adventures for both families and couples with an endless list of recreational pursuits that range from uh, mountain climbing and mountain biking to ATV and Jeep safaris, bird watching, trekking, horseback riding, exhilarating zip lining in the rainforest. There's also whale watching and turtle watching, deep sea fishing and sailing, as well as some of the best diving in the Caribbean. Indeed, St. Lucia is truly unique. Um, okay, make sure you guys do it. Um, sorry, guys, um, they're doing direct message. Do it to the group, okay? Uh, yeah, um, here is the thing. Um, yeah, make the message to the group because they're helping answer questions. Um, so let me get to the link again. Sorry, guys, hold on. Um, here is the link for today. Again, you have time to sign in, okay? Don't worry, uh, I'm just reading, okay? There's the link to sign in. There's the information to use. Again, make sure you guys watch this. If I post it every day in Incentive Voucher Group, what trainings are going on, and you can pre-register here. And then right here, also this spreadsheet. So save these guys so that way you can plan ahead, okay? Because we post it at the beginning of each month. Also, one other place I want to show you is right here under Featured, right here. Um, uh, Sandy actually has it right here. Every um, first of the month, she lists all the trainings along with the links. Okay, so make sure you guys are part of this group so you guys can get in and um, be ready. Okay, all right. Let me find out where I'm at. Um, I didn't have to answer that. Don't only answer what's required. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. Where am I? Sorry, guys. Okay. I'll start here. All of this natural beauty and romance has spawned an opportunity for unique adventures for both families and couples with an endless list of recreational pursuits that range from mountain climbing and mountain biking to ATV and Jeep safaris, bird watching. Did I read this already? No. Uh, horseback riding, exhilarating, zip lining. There's also whale watching, turtle watching, St. Lucia's truly unique eco paradise. Where else could you find a drive through volcano listed as a major attraction? All right, click here for a larger ver version of the map. Its history and culture, too, is a, as unique and fascinating as her natural beauty, stretching back thousands of years to the Ararat and Carib um, Indians joined by pirates during the 1500s. Again, don't worry if you're just registering. We will wait for you to take the test. So registering is very easy, guys, okay? All right, so... Um, they had the pirates in the 1500s. The frac fractious uh, colonial history began in the early 1600s with the French taking over in 1659. The British and French waged a 150-year seesaw battle for control, with the British finally taking possession in 1838 and leaving a colorful legacy of pirates, colonial intrigue, and a unique mix of European influence. It is this rich history that has created a vibrant melang of cultural diversity and warmth. Easily welcoming visitors with vibrant Caribbean music, the famous annual St. Lucia Jazz Festival, regular street uh, parties in Gros Islet, the weekly denary, denary Seafood Festival, and the Ants La Rey Seafood Friday all of which feature plenty of fun and music for visitors of all ages. But it's this annual St. Lucia Carnival that's the big party of the year with costumes and musical competitions and big on-island culture and fun. All of this information is waiting for you in detail throughout St. Lucia Expert Program, a course that has been developed especially for you to support um, you're becoming a St. Lucia travel expert and increase your sales to this classic Caribbean vacation destination. All right, 
next we're going to go into wedding inspiration okay we've earned 25 points so far guys yay all right st lucia offers picturesque spots for saying i do whether you are looking for an exquisite location to pop the question get married desirous of um, a dream honeymoon or celebrating an anniversary valentine's day vow renewal or a baby moon st lucia has the perfect mix of locations experiences and soulful energy to help clients connect with each other. St. Lucia's blend of multifaceted, iconic settings, charming culture, a full range of personalized services provides the ultimate inspiration coupled with flexibility and the ease required for the single um, <clears throat> biggest day in a person's life, particularly those allergic to ordinary and cookie cutter experiences. For such a tiny paradisiacal island, St. Lucia packs quite a few options for the altar bound. Many, in fact, the reason is simple. St. Lucia offers the most stress-free of wedding requirements. Many highly experienced um, wedding experts and a wide variety of locations that allow this Caribbean gem to shine. One of the most attractive aspects to marrying here is that there's no waiting period in St. Lucia. That's good to know, guys. Okay. So some co company or some um, places require, you know, um, pre-registering and they have to be there for so many days, et cetera. Couples can get married within hours of arriving. All they need to do is apply for a license for a special one if they're staying in St. Lucia for less than 24 hours and have original copies of the documentation we list below. Although if they marry in a hotel, the property will guide them through this, okay? The island has many experienced wedding planners that are invaluable sources of information and assistance. Wedding planners can prepare the most basic or lavish of weddings with everything from intimate candlelit dinners to fire eaters at a big bash. They'll hire the photographer, follow up on menus, and pick up clients from the airport with limo and champagne. Even cruise ship visitors can tie the knot here with little effort. Thanks to the company's dedicated staff and several package options that let them choose their location and worry about little less. St. Lucia's wedding planners are known for being at the top of their game. They offer a wealth of information and photographs and guide clients through the planning process. They are always in touch with clients by email. They understand that people need to feel very comfortable because a lot of people have not visited the island before. There's lots of contact before, there's lots of contact before couples get to the island and couples are encouraged to ask as many questions as they want. Sorry, guys, I'm in an RV, so I don't know if you hear that rain, but that's rain, so I apologize. <laughs> All right, uh, destination wedding planners recommend that travel agents find out what sort of wedding clients want. Some couples prefer to marry in the hotel where they're staying, but some might want something a bit more unique where they're going to have a lot of personalization and a bit more privacy. They say it will definitely be a plus if travel agents encourage their clients to hire a wedding planner. All right, so you have destination wedding venues, ideal wedding spots at Calabash Resort and Spa. Lush St. Lu Lucia has been blessed with a number of stunning locations that make for ideal backdrops for a wedding or vow renewal. Um, those are not, or there are, those Emerald UNESCO World Heritage um, Pantan, Mount, Pantan Mountains, of course, or the incredible Turile Waterfall, which is great for a small wedding party. Um, no shoes, no problem. Choose a barefoot experience by the shore. Another option is to marry at one of the several gardens in St. Lucia, including Diamond Botanical Gardens in Suffrar, Suffrar? home to the diamond mineral baths built for French troops in 17, thank you, 84. Many weddings in St. Lucia take place in the island's hotels with properties outfitted with small armies of support for brides, a great variety of services and packages that mix and match all their needs. Aunt Chastanet, pronounced Aunt Ch Chastanet, sorry, Chastanet. I like when they help me with that. <laughs> And it's resort within a resort. 
Jade Mountain have long regarded as one of the world's ideal, idyllic locations for romance with an air of intimacy and personalization that is unique. Rather than have a dedicated area for ceremony, guests are encouraged to explore the properties and choose their own location. And they have their share here. They can say, I do on a strip of the beach, of course, at Kai Mer Cottage, overlooking Anne's Chastanay Beach, or at the Treehouse, a hillside intimate location embraced by treetops and looking out to the Caribbean Sea. Some couples love their premium or hillside deluxe room so much they choose to marry right there with the views of the ocean and the patons around them. There's also the ruins of Ants Mamin Historical Plantation, which provide an added air of island charm. Couples and their party arrive by boat. Guests staying at the Jade Mountain can marry on its celestial um, terrace or infinity pool sanctuary surrounded by the natural beauty of St. Lucia. The resort can also arrange underwater ceremonies. Wow. Clients say their vows um, on land, then dive right into repeat, um, dive right in, into repeat them using signs and sign language. Okay. Another option is to hop on one of Anne's Chastanay's boats and hold a small ceremony there, then jump in the water if they choose. The resort's vast experience is creating incredible memories means that they develop great relationships with vendors throughout the island and can help couples every step of the way. Getting a sax, sax, saxophonist sorry, um, or band, putting together a variety of inspiring menus for the reception, whipping up cocktail parties, and finding the prettiest tropical flowers for the bride's bouquet. They even have a dedicated website, elope to paradiseweddings.com. All right, save that, guys. Make sure, you know, a lot of people will save these things in a binder or folder, okay, especially weddings. <clears throat> the all inclusive Coconut Bay uh, Resort and Spa tracks couples putting together multi generational weddings as it features St. Lucia's largest. A water park and other activities for the younger guests, while enticing adults with an oceanfront spa and varied entertainment and dining options. Sugar Beach, a Viceroy Resort, is also a fantastic option if clients want to take advantage of St. Lucia's pristine mountain ocean panoramas uh, while enjoying the convenience of a high-end resort wedding. Uh, flanked by the Patons, the resort are offers a variety of packages, including that very intimate, just for two. For those who want to have a splashier affair, there's a signature wedding package, the Sugar Beach Suite Escape that includes a two-tier St. Lucian uh, wedding fruit cake, his and hers, time for you cabana massage and private candlelit dinner on the beach. Very nice, right? Couples can even renew their vows with the resort's Sugar Beach venue. The villa at Paradise Ridge, dramatic open um, air accommodation located along Ladera's extraordinary rainforest ridge on previously undeveloped land adjacent to the hotel. The 1900 square foot open air concept venue offers unobstructed views of St. Lucia's natural ma majesty terracotta floors and columns made by local masons of tropical greenheart wood. Ideal wedding spot is a Rabot uh, Hotel, um, Hotel Chocolat. All right, marriage requirements. So here's a good thing to know. Um, getting married in uh, St. Lucia. So maybe post this. Hey, thinking about getting married? I got the great idea for you. Great place. Application for marriage license can be made immediately on arrival. Fees are determined according to the expedition at which you require the license. Standard document documentation is required, a passport, birth certificate, decree if one of the party is divorced, death certificate of first spouse in the case of a widow or widower, a deed poll if a name has been changed, sworn affidavit of a consent stamped by notary if one of the parties is under 18, authenticated translation if required documents are not in English. And then you have um, all these companies that you can go through for the wedding, okay? Great information, make sure you save it. 
<clears throat> All right, now we're going to Inspired by Romance. So from its majestic verdant mountain peaks to its serene sandy cove, St. Lucia seems naturally inclined um, to inspire romance. So it's no wonder that the producers of the TV show The Bachelor chose the island as a setting for its final episode of the 14th uh, season. What better place to declare your love than on its singularly pristine shores fronted by a brilliant blue horizon? Wow, look at that picture. Stunning scenery inspires romance. But worry not, true romantics, the inspiring ambiance of St. Lucia is far more enduring than reality show fame. With a landscape unmatched in beauty, accommodations built for passion and attractions ranging from the adventurous to the tranquil, there's a legendary romantic getaway here for every couple, from honeymooners to lifelong loves, and enough to keep them returning for years to come love in the landscape. St. Lucia owes much of its romantic appeal to its terrain, exotic, striking, unique, picturesque. Even travelers familiar with the Caribbean are wed by the scenery of its Pataan Mountains, rising to the height of 2,500 feet and plummeting directly down into the Caribbean Sea. Couples can take in these spectacular attractions from a variety of venues in and around the Creole town of Suffrar. Suffrar? itself a romantic blend of French and Caribbean cultures. After they've explored Souffre's historic estates, many adventurous travelers take on the island's many hiking trails in search of even more romantic views. The climb to the top of the Patons, uh, Souffre, Souffre, thank you, Tyler, uh, Souffre. I know somebody corrected me last time too. Thank you, Souffre, Souffre, Souffre. <laughs> the climb to the top of the Patons is strenuous, but well worth it for clients with a passion for hiking, panoramic island views, and of course, each other. Other less difficult hiking trails let clients explore St. Lucia's rainforest filled with lush vegetation, exotic animal life, and plenty of privacy. The Edmund Forest Re Reserve, set about 30 minutes from uh, Soufrié, uh, offers spectacular views of the Caribbean Sea and Mount Jimmy, Jimmy, the island's highest peak. The Embas uh, Waterfalls Trail, meanwhile, comes with a central bonus. Two tall waterfalls cascading into natural swimming pools, giving couples the chance to cool off in a secluded, exotic setting. Wow, sounds wonderful, huh, guys? Uh, the island's coastline is equal to its inland landscape in both diversity and uniqueness. St. Lucia's beaches rank among the best in the world with Sugar Beach, a viceroy resort's location between the Patons, making it a favorite for honeymooners. Anse Chassonet Curved Cove is lined with palm trees and features a coral reef that makes it ideal for both sunning and snorkeling. And at the end, um, north end of the island, Pigeon Island National Park Beach is often uncrowded, but no less scenic. So remember that, okay? Pigeon Island, it's still very beautiful, but less crowded. All beaches in St. Lucia are public, so couples are free to explore and find their own private place in the sun. One popular honeymoon upgrade is a tour of the beaches on horseback, adding a unique romantic component to the traditional beach experience. Tours on horseback often include inland trails and traditional Caribbean lunch as well, giving couples the chance to have an authentic island experience together. And then built for love with romance literally surrounding them, it's no wonder that St. Lucia's resorts tend to emphasize the romantic aspects of their accommodations and amenities. The island is home to some of the best honeymoon resorts in the world, including Jade Mountain, the exclusive all suite getaway set high in the mountains and which happened to be the very place where the bachelor himself proposed during the show's 14th season. Every suite here is an ideal honeymoon suite featuring views of the majestic pitons from decks that include private plunge pools. Rumor has it that a honeymoon couple once spent five days in the suite before coming back out. Ladera offers a 1,700 square foot villa at Paradise Ridge 
as well as four suites at the Paradise Ridge that are not only the height in St. Lucia's luxury, but ideal for couples. You have Sandals Regency, La Toque Golf Resort and Spas, Millionaire Suites. We're also designed with couples in mind. Each standalone suite sits on the resort's highest point, giving clients unobstructed 360 degree views of the picturesque island and sea below. Couples can soak up the sun on their private patio or take a dip in their own plunge pool or whirlpool. And that's just the beginning. Honeymooners at any Sandals three properties can create a vacation registry through Sandals to enjoy private dinners for two couples, spa treatments, and tours of the local area, all compliments of their wedding guests. On the water, St. Lucia's romance doesn't end on the coast. Couples can choose an over-the-water chapel at Sandals Grand St. Lucian Resort and Spa or a picturesque sail from its shores. It's un, an unmissable part of the island experience, particularly for honeymooners seeking idyllic sunset views. Just about every resort in St. Lucia offers a sunset cruise. Some even include champagne in the tour for an added romantic bonus. <clears throat> but though sunset is um, the island's most popular time for couples to sail, it's far from being the only option. Clients can also book a whale watching tour during their day for a chance to see any of the more than 20 species that regularly make an appearance off St. Lucia's coast, as well as several species of dolphins and sea turtles. Clients who are just going short, um, okay, Sorry, clients who are just going um, a short distance may want to consider taking a water taxi, a scenic alternative to ordinary taxis on land. Couples headed to Anse Chassonet or Sugar Beach, a viceroy uh, resort from Soufrier, for example, will find local water taxi operators at the jetty. All right, inspiring intimacy. What's a romantic getaway without a little decadence? decadence? In St. Lucia, couples find a vast variety of ways um, to pamper themselves and their partners. When it comes to spas, there's no better destination in Caribbean in the Caribbean for state-of-the-art unique and local treatments. Resorts like Body Holiday St. Lucia offer a spa-centric experience with treatments built into its all-inclusive pricing. Most other resorts offer some sort of um, treatment ranging from in-room massages to more involved procedures within large modern spa facilities. At the Landings Resort and Spa, for example, um, couples can ex ex access a 7,000 square foot spa with shared moment rooms for couples as well as wet therapy rooms and VIP rooms with private terraces and hydrotherapy tubs. For anyone who believes that the stomach is the quickest way to the man's heart, or a woman's heart for that matter, St. Lucia is a foodie paradise. Local cuisine here features fresh ingredients grown or caught locally, including plantains, breadfruit, and of course, seafood. Weekly parties like Anne Slare's um, Seafood Fridays give couples a chance to fill up on the sublime daily catch and mingle with the locals. For more intimate experience, couples need only make a reservation at one of St. Lucia's romantic restaurants, the Sheen at Ladera Resort near Soufrier is set high up in the mountains with an air, open air balcony that offers spectacular views of the Patons, particularly at sunset. Sugar Beach, a Viceroy Resort's Bayside restaurant, offers a casual yet intimate dining experience right on the beach. But for the true indulgence, clients should book an exclusive private dinner just for two. Several resorts in St. Lucia, including Sandals Resorts, will set up private dinners on the beach with service from a dedicated staff and lit only by torches and moonlight. Others, like Anne's Chastenay, will set up more casual meals amid the ruins of the century-old plantations that remain on their property. But perhaps Jade Mountain offers the most intimate dining experience in St. Lucia. 
gourmet meals featuring locally farmed ingredients, all served in the comfort of the couple's private spacious suites to be enjoyed at the dining table, beside their private pool, or even in bed. The romance extends to the spa at Bucan by Hotel Chocolate, chocolate-infused treatments, or couples can walk the cocoa groves, cocoa, cocoa groves together, or join the chef in the kitchen to make their own chocolate bar followed by a gourmet lunch where every course includes elements from the cocoa. All right, lots to do, right? Lots of choices here, guys. <clears throat> All right, inspiring history. Okay, now you get your history lesson. Ancient Ar Ararax and Caribs, sorry if I mispronounce that, inhabited St. Lucia long before the arrival of the Europeans. Some archeological finds have been dated back to 1000 BC. The Caribs uh, arrived around AD 800, conquering the peaceful Ararax and assimilating them into Carib culture. The Caribs would live on St. Lucia through the ferocious 16th century piracy period with Fran Francois Leclerc. Even though their numbers dwindled, they lived in St. Lucia until well into the 18th century. While local lore um, often, uh, <clears throat> sorry, um, often points to Christopher Columbus having touched land here, actual records show that during his four visits to the New World, St. Lucia was not on his navigational charts. However, 67 English settlers arrived in 1605, blown off course on their journey to Guyana. Within a few weeks, the Caribs had massacred most of them, only allowing 19 survivors to leave the island in a dugout canoe. Over the next two centuries, England and France battled over possession of St. Lucia and the island changing flags 14 times. It was the French, um, however, who secured the first lasting European settlement of Soufrié in 1746. Capital, capitalizing on the area's fertile soil, estates were swiftly established and slaves were brought in from Africa to work the land, starting with cotton and tobacco plantations and later adding sugar, which became the most profitable export. Today, bananas dominate the plantation landscapes. St. Lucia's colonial history, however, continued to seesaw back and forth between conquering powers as a British invasion succeeded in 1778, establishing naval bases at Gross Islet and Pigeon Island. England finally got the permanent upper hand in 1815 under terms of the Treaty of Paris and under the British, the 1838 emancipation freed the slaves giving them the right to own their own property, although many families chose to remain at the estates as free men. Fast forward over a century to 1967 when St. Lucia gained internal autonomy, and then to February 22nd, 1979, when the island achieved full independence with the official status, that may be a test question, of an independent state within the British Commonwealth. Taking a close look at St. Lucia, we know today, measuring approximately three times the land mass of Washington, D.C., or one-sixth of Rhode Island, we find that while Great Britain contributed the official language, political structure, educational, and legal systems, it is the French and African influence that dominates this island's nation's cultural grassroots. Okay, you got that, guys? It's villages, um, village names and villager surnames. It's French patois created by African slaves, cath um, Catholicism, cism, cuisine, music, and the arts in general. Sorry. Tune into the heart and soul of the country and you discover a colorful homegrown Malang, Malang, Malang of English, French, African, Caribbean, Indian, and East Indian cultures. As for today's visitors, St. Lucia represents many captivating reminders from Ararat um, inscriptions to military sites and plantation estates of her often turbulent, colorful, and multicultural past. Consider an essential sampling, okay? Jutting out from the Northwest coast, P Pigeon Island was used by the French in the mid 16th century as a base for raiding passing Spanish ships. 
Two centuries later, British Admiral um, George Rodney fortified the island to use as a base for monitoring the French fleet on neighboring Mont Martinique. And indeed, the Admiral set sail from the island in 1782 for his most decisive military engagement, the Battle of the Saints. Joined in the 1970s to mainland St. Lucia, Pigeon Island is now officially a national park administered by the St. Lucia National Trust its attractions include Hilltop Well-Preserved Fort Rodney. Sitting atop the 2,785 foot Mourn Fortune, Hill of Good Fortune is Fort Charlotte, whose construction began under the French and continued under the British. Because of its strategic location overlooking Castries, about three mile distance, the fort was a source of fierce battles between these colonial contestants. Fort Charlotte has been renovated and given new life as the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, which today includes a small obelisk monument commemorating the 20th, 27th Royal Inniskilling Fusiliers retaking control of the Morn Fortune from the French in 1796. Boy, I chopped that up, right? Halfway up Morn Fortune, Mornay Fortune is Government House, the official residence of the government, a governor general of St. Lucia and one of the few remaining examples of Victorian architecture. By appointment, one can visit its La Pavilion Royal Museum displaying artifacts, crockery, silverware, historical photographs and documents. All right. St. Lucia um, offers many chances to peek into the past for insight into the plantation world that dominated the country for so long. One of the earliest French estates established by land grant in 1745 was the 135 acre Fondu estate, Fondu estate near Sofrié. Sofrié. Still a working plantation produces cocoa, citrus, bananas, coconut, and vegetables. A guided walk introduces visitors to various aspects of today's cocoa, fruit, and flower production, as well as the original plantation house and the estate's military ruins. Also near Sofrié is the Mornay Cabral estate, a working cocoa and coconut plantation that gives visitors a chance to see firsthand the processing of copra, cocoa, and manioc. Additionally, the estate still has its historic buildings and the ruins of a water and sugar mill. Then along the southwest coast, you have the Valenbouche estate, established in the 18th century by the French first as a coffee plantation then adding a water-powered sugar factory to produce sugar and rum. Today, this heritage site includes an 18th century plantation house surrounded by gardens as well as jungle-covered ruins of a sugar mill, water wheel, and ancient Amerindian potholes. Visitors are introduced to the history of the estate, including the present life and activities of the plantation by the family-owned plantation and guest house. Located outside the town of uh, Choiseul, the estate is a half hour from Sofrié. Not much of 19th century's castries, um, the island's capital has survived the ravages of wind, rain, and fire. However, around Derek Walcott uh, Square, um, <clears throat> named in honor of the hometown poet who won 1992 Nobel Prize in Literature, stand a handful of wooden buildings with gingerbread trim balconies. Dominating the square is the Grand Stone Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception built in 1897. Its interiors are splendid, painted with trompe l'oeil columns and brightly colorful bib biblical scenes whose primary colors and black Madonna and child incorporate a melange of Caribbean and African influences. All right, must see, right guys? All right, now we're gonna have health and wellness. Wouldn't you know it was French King Louis the, what's that, 16th in fact, who introduced wellness through mineral baths to St. Lucia. Lucia. In 1784, the king provided funds for the construction of a dozen large stone baths for his soldiers after analysis of the waters found that their curative properties to be similar to those of Aix-les-Bains in France. All this took place at the uh, 
Sofrié estate, a 2000 acre land grant made by the crown in 1713 to three brothers from Normandy in recognition of their services to France. Located in present day Sofrié, uh, the estate is still owned by their descendants who have restored the bass, part of the Diamond Botanical Gardens and Waterfall Attraction. For a small fee, visitors can slip into bathing suits and bathe for 30 minutes in one of the outside pools. A private bath costs a bit more, although it was probably free to Empress Josephine Bonaparte, who was said to have bathed in these very waters bubbling up from the underground sulfur springs. Today, it is St. Lucia's elegant resorts that are looking to the country's natural sources to nurture the body and souls of their guests through restorative spa treatments inspired by indigenous ingredients from volcanic minerals to rainforest plants. And in addition to heavenly spas, visitors discover other wellness options, including state-of-the-art fitness centers and mountaintop yoga platforms. At the Ladera Resort, for instance, the Tikai Pose Pose Spa in local Patois Little House of Rest offers pampering treatments inspired by St. Lucia's volcanic history and the lush rainforest surrounding this peaceful retreat. Guests relax for the pre or post treatment period or any time during a stay. In the spa gardens in so um yeah, in the spa gardens and soaking tubs filled with black mineral rich waters that draw the restorative waters from the source at the diamond mineral baths. The spas at Jade Mountain and beachfront Anse Chassene with uh, the Kai and Ciel and the Kai Belt uh, Spa respectively do not bring the mud from the mountain, but take their guests directly to the source at the Sulphur Springs to sit in the stream of dark gray volcanic water and cover themselves with mud. An experience shared with TV viewers at, of the TV, um, The Bachelor. At the spas, facial treatments, body treatments, and scrubs benefit from a tropical fruit wrap. Coconut and papaya seeds combined with exuberant exfoliation and deep cleansing, then a wrap with banana and papaya and golden honey for skin renewal. Wow, that sounds amazing, huh, guys? Followed by avocado lotion to moisturize. Complimentary yoga classes, fitness programs are available at both spas. You have the Mama La Terre Spa, caters exclusively to fondue plantation and resort guests. Aims to nourish the body, soothe the soul in its tranquil ther therapeutic sanctuary. Mama La Terre means Mother Earth, and the spa focuses on the powerfully restorative powers of nature. All of the products used in spa treatments are made from all natural, organically uh, grown ingredients of the purest quality, cradled in the embrace of St. Lucia's World Heritage uh, listed patons, it is hard to imagine a location more conducive to relaxation and rejuvenation than the rainforest at Sugar Beach, a Viceroy Resort. All natural and chemical-free treatments utilize the bounty of the island's natural world, unleashing beauty secrets Lu Lucians have known for centuries. Uh, bananas, the local pride to firm up, tighten, and sm smooth away wrinkles. Coconuts to exfoliate. Aloe vera to rejuvenate, rich cocoa butter to heal and hydrate, harnessing the nourishing properties of nearby volcanic springs and fertile cocoa plantation. The Rainforest Spa offers a range of signature treatments designed to connect guests to the Jalousi planta Plantation special location. Travelers on a mission of wellness and well being have come to the right place when they check into the award winning, all inclusive, adult only body holiday St. Lucia Resort. Here, one indulges in aero, uh, aero, aromatherapy, a dozen different massages, Ayurvedic sorry, treatments, wraps, yoga, and personal trainer services at the Oasis Spa. In the spa's 33 treatment rooms, the staff of 35 massage and beauty specialists use only the most natural products, ocean wraps, combined seaweed and massage to detoxify and release mus muscle tension, coconut and spice blend into a back, head, neck and shoulder massage, Lucian ginger and lime cleanse and a po polish the skin and polish the skin in a body scrub 
Skin specific facials use herbal lavender for oily skin while dull lifeless skin is treated to a fruit active glow. Daily spa treatments, excellent meals and activities galore are included in the rates. Nestled alongside a cliff overlooking and sparkling waters of the Caribbean on the west coast of St. Lucia, Taike uh, Resort and Spa offers a postcard perfect view. Known as the heaven of tranquility in the newly built Kai Coco Spa, which is set at the cliff's edge, offering dramatic views of the silver sands of Anne's Conchon and the Azure Sea um, below. A variety of therapeutic massages are on offer, including the Kai Coco Signature Four Hands Massage. Boy, that'd be a good one, right? <laughs> Special packages are available to guests wanting to reconnect with each other. These are just some of the spas located throughout the island with many um, hotels offering um, spa facilities. All right, boy. Definitely need a massage now, huh, guys? All right, where to lay your head? Where are we going to put people to, um, gee, patience yet, sorry. Um, Rick, a lot of these didn't go through. Can you try them again? Yeah. Um, all right, where to lay your head? St. Lucia offers a treasured collection of hotel and resort properties. Whether your clients are looking for an all-inclusive, kin-friendly, um, resort or charming intimate in that's okay um, a couple's only boutique property or stunning luxurious accommodations a sandals vacation or the home-like ambiance of a villa there are plenty of accommodation <laughs> don't worry sandy i recorded it remember we changed it to earlier on um, this month all right um, sandals vacation or the home like ambience of a villa. There are plenty of accommodation options where your clients can have a legendary getaway. So you have adults only, Belle Jo, set atop a, on a hilltop, tropical views, overcast trees, and the Caribbean Sea. 76 room property offers an all inclusive experience with guest rooms that look out to the sea and hotel gardens, as well as an on site restaurant, cocktail lounge, pool, and rooftop. Sun deck. Uh, charming boutique, city views, location. It's in the Castries, 90 minutes away from the airport, 76 rooms, two pools, 25 minutes from Rodney Bay, with which has uh, restaurants, casino, and nightclubs, and then 90 minutes from the Sofrié Adventures. You have Body Holiday, the wellness-infused property, top global destination spa featuring 155 accommodations, focuses on life balance with an array of activities, including archery, mini golf, sailing, and diving. For the wellness enthusiast, there is yoga, tai chi, or eating right, getting in shape, and going away with insights that will enhance the rest of the guest's life. Other resort highlights include Ayurvedic, treatments and a meditation temple nestled on the hillside private um, calabash cove is nestled on a gentle hillside along a private bonaire bay property offers accommodations in four categories water ed cottages swim up junior suites sunset junior suites ocean view junior suites all with private jacuzzis there's a secluded white sand beach and custom designed boardwalk that's perfect for candlelight dinners or romantic sunset strolls. Boutique luxury and tranquil. Um, it's located in the north. Um, all these information, um, all rooms include the jacuzzis. You have the hideaway at Royalton, modern, all inclusive, fabulous beach overlooking Smuggler's Cove. Uh, with views of Pigeon Island, guests are welcome to enjoy modern suites, premium dining, top shelf liquor, and modern accommodations in a brand new, I know, they, they may be problem ones or something. Yeah. All right, it's modern, private, and value. Again, check it out. Pool and beach access, five minutes, five to ten minutes from the restaurants and clubs. Jade Mountain, property located uh, on Mornay Chassinet rises above 600 acres, beachfront resort and Chassinet and offers superb three-walled accommodations that are del deliberately 
deliberately tech free no telephones radio or tv here okay so you want to get them get them away enjoy them you know togetherness take them there grand sweeping spaces stunning views are the focal point all right that's the southwest 45 minutes away from the airport they've got his historic ruins hiking trails helicopter transfer from the airport okay vegan cuisine and a chocolate lab ladera properties located on the southwest of saint lucia two miles from Souffre on a lush hillside um, of mango trees with each of the two villas and 35 suites having an open wall facing the surrounding rainforest a private plunge pool or a villa pool and then eco romantic amazing scenery um, again open concept perfect for nature lovers 37 suites with private pools 15 minutes from the adventures and they have meditation birding yoga and natural trail experiences R uh, rendezvous couples only elegant property looking out over malabar beach offers 100 accommodations including oceanfront cottages activities tennis golf archery volleyball scuba diving the spa in the water garden two two pools and a jacuzzi it's for lush romantic sophisticated three restaurants three bars including a champagne bar six accommodation options 20 minutes from Rodney Bay, 60 minutes from the adventures, pool and beach access as sports and recreation activities. Sandals, Grand, St. Lucian and beach resorts. Again, make sure you guys focus on sandals when you can have a chance. Um, you have to be with the company six months before you can sell sandals direct. Okay, so remember that. Set on the island's peninsula, surrounded by the sea on both sides, this 310-room resort boasts ocean and mountain views, features a variety of lavish suites from breathtaking over the water bungalows to the Rondeville Suites. Unique um, round suites complete, thank you, with private pools, butler service, 24-hour room service. Amenities include 12 restaurants, scuba diving, and water skiing, six bars, and the Red Lane Spa. It's good for grand, sophisticated, and active. They have over the water bungalows here, guys. Very nice. 12 restaurants, uh, five to 10 minutes away from Rodney Bay, five minutes from the Friday night street party. Okay, so you got people that want to party, put them there. Um, Sandals, Helician Beach, St. Lucia, 169 room beachfront resort, overlooks the Serene Bay and White Sand Beaches. Nestled among tropical gardens, features six gourmet restaurants, three pools, scuba certification pool, a fitness center, and nightclub. Charming, lush boutique. Uh, Choco Bay Castries, um, 90 minutes from the airport. Okay, water, skiing, diving, and golf included. You have the Sandals Regency Latoque Golf Resort. Set along a half mile crescent shaped beach, this 210 acre, 323 room enclave, enclave offers a range of accommodations, ocean view rooms, luxurious villa suites on Sunset Ocean Bluff, featuring private pools, butler service, 24 hour room service. Amenities include rollaway fairways, gourmet restaurants, red lane spa, and eight bars. Sandals offers an exclusive exchange program that allows guests to enjoy all the amenities and services of all three resorts, okay? So that's a key seller point here also. Exquisite, charming, scenic, um, 45 minutes from Soufrié Adventures, 23 accommodation options, lots of choices, sports, recreational activities, and the golf course. Serenity at Coconut Bay. All right. Um, all inclusive, all butler, adult only serenity located along the island's south coast, 36 plunge pool suites, fine dining, craft cocktails, butler service, 24 hour room service, full access to Coconut Bay Resort and spa amenities, modern, private, luxurious, trendy, five minutes from the airport, 45 minutes from the adventures. 36 plunge pool suites with butler service, serenity pool and beach access. Stonefield Villa Resort, ideal for honeymooners, health and wellness, or just simply sec simple seclusion. 
26 acre, 18 villa private resort located just outside Soufrié, nestled in a dense tropical rainforest overlooking the Patons and the Caribbean Sea. Caribbean chic, romance, private wellness, 45 minutes from the airport, 75 minutes from this airport, um, 15 minutes from the adventures, mango, mango tree restaurant, accommodations with private pools and two yoga decks. Rabot Hotel with Hotel Chocolat, world's only chocolate fo focused hotel. Perched 1,000 feet above Caribbean Sea, ideal for couples looking for quiet seclusion, honeymooners wanting a little privacy, a single, a single traveler or a group of friends in need of the escape. Guests can unwind in Coco Juvenet Spa, sink into the infinity pool, and watch the sun slide behind the patons. Exclusive eco-romantic chic. Soufrère um, location, um, 45 minutes from that airport, 75 minutes from that airport, Coco Cuisine Restaurant and Bar, six lounges, lodges, and eight Lux lodges. Recreational activities, including a chocolate tour and hiking trails. Rendezvous, charming, romantic resort located on an amazing white sand beach for a client with exquisite taste, convenient, all-inclusive concept with an array of activities inspired by sister resort body holiday, but set on lush, mat, mat, mature tropical gardens, great for destination weddings and privacy, lush, romantic, sophisticated. Three restaurants, three bars with a champagne bar, 20 minutes from Rodney, 60 minutes from the adventures, pool and beach access, as well as sports and recreational activities. Oh, Tai Kai Resort and Spa, eco-friendly resort on St. Lucia's West Central Coast. Sits on an amazing beach, features 33 exquisite cottages overlooking the Caribbean Sea, one of the best snorkeling and wreck, huh? wreck diving bays in the Caribbean. Takai features signature open air showers, which are private and helps the guests celebrate the beauty all around. Excellent dining, including multiple award-winning wine cave as rated by Wine Spectac Spectator. Private boutique, eco, dive, charming. Okay, 80 minutes from that airport, 40 from there, two restaurants and bar, 33 cottages, Pool and beach access, 30 minutes from the adventures and award-winning wine cellar. Now you have the family-friendly ones, okay? So just kind of wanted to look how many of those. <laughs> All right, so family-friendly. You miss it? Sorry, did I go too far? Hold on. There we go. And Chasnay, Chasnay. Only resort on the island with a view of both the Petite and Gros Patan Mountains offers 49 individual designed rooms, 37 which are scattered about a lush hillside, 12 of which are nestled within a tropical garden at beach level, spans over 600 lush tropical acres bordering two soft sand Caribbean beaches with pristine coral reefs just offshore. The resort property includes a historic plantation of Anne's Mammon and Emerald Estate, where the resort grows its own organic produce. All right, you have 600 acres of hiking trails, jungle biking, and historic ruins. Um, helicopter transfer, um, 15 minutes from the adventures, excellent dive instructions, activities, including shore diving. You have Bay Gardens. Nestled in the heart of Rodney Bay, 87 room property offers several room categories from standard with either a pool or garden view to superior rooms, junior executive suites and one and two bedroom suites. Value local culture, Caribbean style, okay? Um, 90 minutes from the adventures, five hotels, four restaurants, walking distance to 20 more restaurants. They have a kids club, playground, game room, um, non-motorized water sports and babysitting available. Bay Gardens, chanting and chanting, 35 room tropical oasis designed with you in mind, offering comfortable and affordable accommodations nestled in a beautiful garden setting, incredible location within minutes to local attractions such as Pigeon Island National Landmark, um, Red, Reduit, um, Reduit Beach, IGY Marina, Casino, duty-free shopping malls, specialty restaurants, get pop bars, and more. It's a valued uh, hotel, marina location, and Caribbean chic. 
um, walking distance, kids in playground, non-motorized sports, and babysitting. Bay Garden, 78 property, uh, showcases neoclassical Caribbean architecture, features one-bedroom suites complete with full kitchen, living, and dining areas, and deluxe rooms that are interconnecting to create a two-bedroom suite option. Value local culture active, um, again, um, pretty much the same, okay, five restaurants, hotel, five hotels within five miles, non-motorized sports and babysitting, playroom and game room because it is for families. Cap Mason, property located near Rodney Bay, Smuggler's Cove Beach, features junior suites, one, two, three bedroom villas, some of their own private pools or roof terraces with views of Pigeon Island. Former sugar plantation that spans through 1,500 acres of rolling hills with the Caribbean Sea with inspiring views of the histor historic Pigeon Island. Um, an hour and a half from the adventures, two restaurants, two bars, including the Naked Fisherman, Bespoke Premium Wine Cellar, pool and several private pools on rooftop terraces, customized local tours available. You have Coco Palm located in Rodney Bay Villa Village. Property offers classic Caribbean, French, Creole decor and accommodation choices in nine categories. Guests will have a personal concierge assigned to them upon arrival. There are two on-site restaurants, a spa of um, Redua Beach and is only minutes from the resort. All right, Value Local Culture Central location, two restaurants, one bar, including superb Creole cuisine, pool and several shrimp, swim out rooms and babysitting available. Coconut Bay Resort and Spa, located on the island's south coast, the family-friendly wing of this resort is called Splash, ideal for kids with St. Lucia's largest water park at a kids club featuring water slides and lazy rivers. The adults-only Harmony Wing of this resort offers tranquil ambiance with a palm-shaded pool and bar, oceanfront chimera spa, and long stretches of the beach. Active, upbeat, Caribbean style, okay? 40 minutes from the adventures, 250 rooms, nine restaurants, seven bars, the biggest water pool, pool water park pool and beach, um, five pools, water park with water slides, full roster of recreational activities, paintball and kite surfing. Kids club is full as, as far as well as a full roster of sports and recreation. East winds, all inclusive property located on La Brule Bay com comprised of 30 garden cottages located in a spread among 12 acres botanical gardens. Free form pool with a swim up bar, thatch, uh, wood umbrellas on the golden sand beach. You are met with champagne on check in and will experience a premium all inclusive food and beverage journey as well as wellness options during your stay. All right, one and a half hours from the adventures. All tours are customized and private to the resort guests. Superior dining, organic ingredients grown in the gardens, and they have one wedding per day requirement or not requirement, but a, 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 eligible. Two restaurants, two bars. Ginger Lily Hotel, 11 room hotel spread over half an acre, tropical gardens. Because of the few rooms, each guest has an ample room to lounge to relax. Fondo do Eco Resort, intimate, private, unique. Minutes from some of the best attractions, 19th century eco-friendly colonial resort nestled in the heart of St. Lucia. Best known for a romantic, intimate, 17 private deluxe cottages. The resort is situated amidst 250-year-old working plantation, features an assortment of 15 uniquely crafted cottages, two on-site restaurants, and a collage of outdoor swimming pools, as well as an organic spa. Two bars, two restaurants, organic cocoa grown um, on working estate, chocolate tours, several hiking trails on the resort with views of the Patons, Adventures five to 10 minutes away and bird watching at the resort. Harbor Club Curio Collection by Hilton. Great option for family, singles, couples, or corporate. Over 7,000 square feet of diverse meeting space. Set in amazing marina setting with great proximity to a variety of activities, attractions, and eateries in walking distance. Modern marina location entertainment. Five restaurants, one bar, Swiss cafe and bakery, brick oven pizzeria, 
beach access easily arranged through resort walking distance from to Rodney Bay and five minutes um, from Rodney Bay and 20 restaurants. Landings Resort, located 19 oceanfront acres on Rodney Bay. Property offers one, two, three bedroom villas, suites, accommodations, each featuring views of either the beach, the harbor, or the channel. Three swimming pools and two hot tubs. Haven't heard much about hot tubs, huh? Luxury Marina included, spacious. Location Pigeon Island, Gross Islet. Three restaurants, bars, cafes, 10 minutes from Rodney Bay, kids club, recreational, four pools and beach access along with babysitting. Marigo Beach Club and Dive, uniquely situated in stunning secluded part of St. Lucia that's only accessible by boat. Marigo Beach Club and Dive Resort overlooks one of the world's most beautiful bays. From the veranda of your studio or villa, you'll enjoy spectacular St. Lucian sunsets. And within a few steps, you'll be up on a palm fringed white sand beach. Uh, Marigo Bay Re um, Spa and Marina, deluxe iconic Riviera location, uh, one hour from the adventures, two pools, three restaurants, four dining options, and four bars. How many more do we have? Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Uh, Mystique St. Lucia by Royalton, luxurious 96 room property, offers all suite accommodations, pampering spa, a mist, and elegant setting, offers award winning restaurants, well appointed suites. So, guys, this is great to make sure you know, save this. So, when you have people asking, you know, I want to stay, you know, by here, I want to stay there, I want to make sure they have this. This is a great, you know, guide for you. Um, thank you, Terry, and I appreciate it. Um, all right, so again, 90 minutes from the adventures for restaurants, walking distance, Royalton. I know it's like, wow, <laughs> I don't know. You guys can check me. There's a PDF version, but geez, Royalton St. Lucia Resort and Spa. I think they hit every single one on the island, I think. 350 rooms, suites, resorts featuring three distinct sections, family friendly vacation experience in the main resort. Diamond Club Experience, exclusive pool, beach, and dining, and the adults-only hideaway, an array of restaurants and bars, on-site water park, <clears throat> and entertainment. Okay, one hour from the adventure, one and a half hours from the adventures, seven restaurants, uh, beach access, splash pad, 10 minutes from Rodney Bay, lots of activities for kids. St. James Club, Morgan Bay, located in the northwest coast of St. Lucia, three miles from the capital city, 334-room resort, 25-acre expanse of hillside land, sloping through countless palms to a pristine beach lapped by the waters of the secluded cove. Couples, singles, and families property offers accommodations in eight categories. They also offer motorized and non-motorized sports, babysitting, kids club, and six restaurants and cafes. Starfish St. Lucia, all inclusive, 140 room resort located on Rindua Beach and features landscape garden, two restaurants, nightly themed entertainment, four room categories. You have seaside, poolside, garden view, and standard. Access to a water park, which is five minutes away, walking distance to 20 restaurants, four restaurants on site with bar and babysitting. Sugar Bay Viceroy Resort. Located in the Valley of the Patons, this high-end property nestled within over 100 acres of pristine rainforest on the site of an 18th century sugar plantation sweeps down to Sugar Beach. The original vintage rooms and villas retain their French Caribbean charm while luxury villas and villa suites boast elegant plantation styling. Um, 75 minutes from the airport, 15 minutes from the adventures, beach and pool access, snorkeling off the beach at the base of the Petite Patan, many things for kids to do. Villa Beach Cottages, property offers 20 colonial style villa suites nestled among the coconut trees and Chalk Bay on the Northwest coast, just feet from the Caribbean Sea and only four miles from Castries. Here guests can kayak, snorkel, explore nearby Rodney Bay. Each villa offers fully equipped kitchens, perfect for solo travelers, couples, and families. Okay, so keep that in mind. Windjammer, convenience, privacy of villas in um, resort setting, 
353 room property set on a 60 acre offers picturesque spacious secluded hillside villas many with private pools and terraces large comprehensive spa and an amazing selection of daily activities <clears throat> um, water sports motorized and non-motorized five pools 15 minutes from rodney bay five restaurants st lucia's small and private properties are precious collection of hotels guest houses, vacation apartments, and villas with warm, friendly service at affordable prices. Ideal for clients looking for a unique St. Lucia experience. For a complete list, visit here, okay? So you can click there for more small and private properties, okay? Ooh, that one was a long one, huh, guys? But we're almost done. All right, so cultural high. St. Lucia counts among its natural wonders a dive in, a drive-in volcano, highly endangered parrot, and the a magnificent UNESCO World Heritage Heritage Patent. Equally esteemed are its cultural highs rooted into rooted in this Caribbean country's special blend of things, English, French, and African. Its most modern asset is its welcoming people. St. Lucia is the perfect destination for today's travelers um, who is interested in the new and involving um, experiences, getting to know the land, getting to meet the local folks. Let us point out just a handful of ways to enjoy the discovery of Lucian heritage um, and a colorful homegrown Creole culture. Colorful, lively festivals, big part of St. Lucia's cultural and heritage. All right, so come for a festival and all that jazz. New Year's Day celebration. St. Lucia celebrates New Year's with a giant fair held in a so square that marks the beginning of the new year. The fair highlights some of the island's cultural activities such as masquerade, toes, and papa de job. There are rides and games. Um, Noble Lorette Week. Per capita, St. Lucia has more Nobel laureates than any other country. To celebrate Nobel Laureate Week, there are major lectures, panel discussions, plays, poetry, drama, and music. Independence Day, February 22nd, St. Lucia celebrates its anniversary of independence from British rule. In 1979, St. Lucia was reborn as an independent state after being a colony of Great Britain. March and April, you have Easter, the day of Holy Week. Days of Holy Week are the most solemn on the St. Lucian calendar. The dominant Catholic traditions are evident during this time, particularly on Good Friday. Easter Sunday resembles Christmas Day with its church services, gift giving, and fetes. Fetes? Fetes? Let clients know that Easter weekend is also one of the best times for kite flying. Okay? May, the annual St. Lucia Jazz Festival. All eyes focus on St. Lucia for 10 days each May when St. Lucia Jazz Festival welcomes renowned international musicians who perform at Pigeon Island National Park. Other venues. From its inception in 1992, St. Lucia Jazz Festival has grown in, um, and is now regarded as the premier jazz event of the Caribbean. The festival is a series of concerts that bring to together elements of jazz, rhythm and blues, pop and world music. St. Lucia Jazz Festival draws international jazz greats who perform on the primary stage, Pigeon Island National Park, as well as various hotels, restaurants, night spots throughout the island. Multiple shows embrace straight ahead jazz and new age jazz with acts originating from United States, Africa, the Caribbean, Latin America, and Europe. Past performances have included those of George Benson and Whiten Marsalis, to name only a couple. For this big event, reserve well ahead, and for St. Lucia Jazz Festival dates and updates, visit stlucia.org. And then July, you have the Carnival in St. Lucia, Summer Carnival, one of the island's major festivals. Carnival lovers from around the Caribbean and North America converge in St. Lucia during the second week of July. Actually, the carnival season launches in June when Moss bands camps are formed and members begin to build their costumes, steal bands, practice in the streets, Calypso tents throughout the island, compete through this series of performances by local Calypso and Soca artists. 
Come July, when Carnival is in full swing, there are competitions for beauty queens as well as for the King of Soka and Calypso. And the Moss Bands compete for the coveted Band of the Year title. Right after the competitions, Monday morning, everyone heads off to the streets of Castries for the ultimate street party and Javette pre-dawn jump up that starts at 4 a.m. Truly spectacular cultural affair worthy of watching and participation. For more information on St. Lucia's Carnival, visit stlucia.org. August and October, St. Lucia Flower and Creole Festivals. St. Lucia Jazz Festival, courtesy of Bill um, Mort Mortley. St. Lucia's local culture and traditions are showcased throughout um, through two flower festivals during the months of August and October. The Feast of St. Rose de Lima is a festival of the Rose Flower Society, celebrated in August, while the Feast of St. Margaret Mary Alacroix is observed during October. Each year, the events are hosted by a number of selected communities throughout the island, and weekly festivities include religious services, as well as weekly parades in the streets with society members dressed as kings and queens, uh, princes, and princesses, doctors and nurses, policemen and soldiers. These weekly society meetings and festivities called seances culminate in the colorful Feast of the Rose on August 30th and Les Marguerites on October 17th. Both occasions, there's a royal court presentation, feasting and dancing. You have the Creole Heritage Month. Includes celebration of International Creole Day or Jeunen Creole and Tansanola, culturally oriented visitors or those interested in experiencing St. Lucia's traditional expressions by doing something in Creole will find the month of October packed with cultural activities, including arts and heritage festival. Fascinating display of folklore, traditional cuisine, and authentic Creole customs that have been carried on for generations are on show during the village-based affair. September Roots and Soul Festival. Um, the celebration is dedicated to musicians who are setting new trends in reggae, conscious hip hop, Afro punk, and R&B with performances, masterclasses, and encounters between artists and other actors in the music business. Like St. Lucia Jazz, there will be free and paying concerts in various parts of the island. You have the Food and Rum Festival. This event celebrates the island's unique culinary offerings derived from its French, British, African, and Indian heritage, combined with the finest rums of the Caribbean and the world. Typically, rum-infused menus at the many restaurants and street party events, as well as exciting collaborations between the island's national culinary teams and celebrity chefs. Visitors will have plenty of opportunities to taste the islands at the delicious cuisine. You have St. Lucia Dive Fest. Showcases celebrates a stunning underwater um, underworld of St. Lucia starring um, its unique marine life and biodiversity. It will feature an excellent mix of activities, a dive seminar, symposium, plus daily dive odysseys at the best dive sites in St. Lucia. Join a street party. The Gross Islet Friday Night Street Party, longest running street party in St. Lucia, is a hot spot for locals and visitors alike. Little Fishing Village really heats up on Friday nights when the weekly jump up gets going. The streets are alive with pulsating rhythms emanating from speakers manned by island DJs. Dancing mixes easily with dining at a variety of barbecue grills, serving chicken, pork, and seafood prepared Lucian way style. <clears throat> it's known as the must stop for people who love to party. Located on the West Coast, south of Castries, the sleepy village of Anse La Rey wakes up big time once a week for Seafood Friday. It has become one of the highlights for St. Lucians from all over the island. Street stalls offer up the catch of the day, as well as delicacies such as squid, octopus, shrimp, or lobster. And of course, there is Caribbean music to keep everyone grooving most of the night. It's Saturday Night Live Denary Fish Festival on the east coast of the island, which keeps its fish heritage alive with a maraud of dining options. From informal little venues to street food, 
Music goes hand in hand with fish feasting and this town makes loud and clear its pre uh, preference for soca, dance hall and reggae mixed up with a bit of R&B. How about taking a heritage tour? The Heritage Tourism Association of St. Lucia's St. Lucia is a nonprofit group dedicated to marketing and provision of travel products to natural and cultural heritage sites that offer a unique St. Lucian experience to the visitor. The group's commitment has arisen out of broader efforts, including those of St. Lucia National Trust, to preserve the country's heritage and to maximize benefits to St. Lucia from eco and heritage tourism. Tur tours include visiting fishing villages, plantations, waterfalls, century old estates, and historic gardens. Consider this heritage tour sampling. Okay, use this as a sample, guys. Bon Dior National or Nature Reserve and Historic Park. Located in the heart of the Mamboya Valley on the East Coast, this park was first settled by the island's pre Columbian Amer Indian inhabitants. They were later used by European sugar planters. Within the park, one finds historic sugar mills, ruins, and an Amer Indian site as well as various historic plantation buildings, a windmill, a boiling house, a steam mill, and two cattle barns, dating to between the 17th and 19th centuries. A guided tour includes a trail walk through the Asturian tropical forest, mangroves, and dry scrub woodlands, as well as time on broad white sand beaches, which is nestled a uh, nestling site for leatherback turtles between April and October. A half day tour includes lunch at the Interpretation, Interpretation Center and Museum. All right, Lucian Country Life. Less than a 15 minute drive from Castries, Lucian Country Life is on display at Anthony's Farm. Traditional historic resident at Mornudon Balata and at the 100 year old family farmhouse. The tour includes bird watching, 27 identified species in the tropical forest. Along the garden trail, one finds ginger, cocoa, cinnamon, mango, cashew nuts, and stops are made to taste to seasonal fruits, identify many of the 134 plant species. Additionally, local guides share their knowledge of customs and herbal medicines, charcoal making, beekeeping, and cassava making. All right, guys, three more, and then you're ready for the test. Test time. All right, inspiring adventures. St. Lucia offers an array of water-based activities. Incredibly diverse environment combines its jaw-dropping beauty and legendary history makes for a wonderful wonderland of activities. Everything from canopy tours, horseback riding, ATV and bike riding, diving, deep sea fishing and sailing to cultural heritage tours. All-terrain vehicle riding, clients can experience the wild side of St. Lucia on an all-terrain vehicle, riding through St. Lucia's lush countryside over mountains and through banana plantations. Anansi ATV Tours offers two-hour ATV tour that takes guests along working plantations, historical sites, rural communities. Tour is topped off with a bird's eye view of the surroundings of the Atlantic coast, Dabara's viewing point at Grand Anse uh, Beach, or recommend the company's moonlight rides. That would be kind of fun, huh? How about biking? Biking has become a very popular way to be, enjoy the island and some excellent biking tours for beginners and the more experienced off-road riders. There are tours that head into Sofrié for an oceanside trail ride at Anse Chassonet, where riders enjoy beautiful views of the world famous Gros Piton and Petit Piton Mountains. World champion biker Tinker Juarez designed the high performance Tinker's Trail for those who want to feel the adrenaline rush of the Tour de France island bike hikes. Founded in 1998 by Brian DeVoe, a native St. Lucian whose family has lived on the island for over 250 years, also offers a variety of active tours. Horseback riding, truly unique and even a traditional historical way of experiencing St. Lucia's on horseback. Clients can select from a number of horseback riding excursions. International Riding Stables offers an assortment of trail rides, including a ride winding through the countryside along the beach with time for swimming and a beach picnic at Casa and Bas. 
Trims Riding Stables offers four riding sessions a day with a variety of treks, including a carriage tour to Pigeon Point and Fort Rodney, as well as group coastal tour that includes lunch. Atlantic Shores Riding Stables also offers an array of horseback riding tours, including along um, the beach on a country trail and as part of a private tour. Clients will love touring St. Louis on horseback because they can truly take in the sights and feel a part of the surroundings in both a safe and exciting way. At Morin Corbaro, uh, clients can combine a visit to a family plantation, which um, is a full of activities with horseback riding while learning about the traditional ways of processing Coco Copra Mania. Whale and turtle watching. St. Lucia is recognized as one of the leading whale watching sites in the Caribbean. Over 20 species are regularly spotted throughout the year, including humpbacks, pilot whales, sperm whales, spinning and spotted dolphins. Incredibly, there's more than 80% chance of spotting these magnificent sea creatures on any one of the number of boat tours around the island. Turtles are another fascinating thrill for nature lovers. The abundance of these majestic reptiles on St. Lucia is due to the protection provided by local environmental activists who have ensured there is permanent suspension on turtle hunting. Popular spot to enjoy turtle watching is Grand on Beach, uh, located on the east coast of the island, home to the leatherback, leatherback turtles, among other species. Culture and Heritage Tours at Fon La Tisaba Creole Park in Bobonet, clients have the opportunity to truly experience the St. Lucian way of life with a tour that takes them to a community of Barbano called Fond Asau. Sorry if I mispronounce those. Their visitors experience the traditional St. Lucian practices such as preparation of cassava bread, cooking on macambo leaves, catching crayfish in the river, collecting honey from a beehive and very authentic display of wood sawing, all while a chock chock band plays traditional music in the background. On the Ca Castries Heritage Walk, knowledgeable tour guides take visitors through historic buildings of Castries, as well as a tour through the architectural history of an old colonial island city. Pigeon Island, in fact, contains more history than any other part of St. Lucia. It was once the home of the Amerindians and also part of a pirate hideout and military base. Visit Fort Charlotte, now a college, but once the site of some of the fiercest fighting between the French and the British. Clients can also view the Choiseul Heritage Site, village rich in history, crafts, and offering spectacular views. For active uh, centric heritage tours, tell clients to take the Gros Paton Trail or the Desparo Turtle Watch Tours. Paton Climbing Tour takes participants to the summit of Gros Paton for a panoramic view of the Tresol Village. Petit Paton um, and the entire southwestern part of the island. Trail begins in the community of Fon Gens uh, Libre founded by runaway slaves and black freedom fighters or brigands as they were called in the 18th century. Gros Baton became a natural for fortress for the brigands. It's numerous caves, tunnels and lookout points along the trail serving as brigands. Retreat during the resistance. The hike is moderate to strenuous and takes about four hours round trip. The Turtle Watch Tour, meanwhile, takes a small group on an overnight camp to Grand Anse. I want to do this. On the East Coast, one of the most important beaches in the region for nesting sea turtles. This ruggedly beautiful spot has never been developed, and the only signs of human habitation are the lights from the village of Despara, which twinkle up on the distance hillside once night falls. Most of the time, the beach is empty, but from March to August, a steady trickle of visitors make dirt track truck ride to experience a true natural wonder. The, spectacular, the spectacle of leatherback turtles, the world's largest living reptile, coming ashore to lay their eggs. Specific information on these tours is found here. Sounds cool, huh? Definitely. Yeah, and the horseback riding, too. All right, how about sailing? Warm trade winds. St. Lucia is ideal for sailing aficionados. 
if that's right, who want to explore the deep blue waters that surround the island. On the island's western coast, the Caribbean Sea is known to be more calm than the Atlantic Ocean on the east side of the island. Thus, it's a top spot among both avid and first-time sailors. Visitors to St. Lucia will find two state-of-the-art marinas. The IGY Rodney Bay Marina, located in the north of the island, is nestled in the inner lagoon that provides protection and safety, while the marina at Marigo Bay, situated along the west coast, is ideal for sailing vessels. Via Viator, okay, Viator is one of our vendors, guys. Visitors can book a catamaran day sail that visits Sulphur Springs, the region's only drive-in volcano, and Marigo Bay, or recommend a two-hour sunset cruise aboard a pirate ship, the Black Magic, a replica of the 16th century Spanish galleon. Be kind of cool, right? C, a new world inspirational dive. St. Lucia has stunning variety of sea life and submarine wonders waiting for clients to explore. They can get into the swim of things with their snorkeling and diving gear and experience the warm, clear waters that make the Caribbean famous for underwater adventures. Go to stlucia.org to, to search for more dive operators and scuba centers. Sorry. Soft adventure. Also with Sea Spray Cruises, clients can combine sailing with an open back Jeep tour for a full day adventure along the West Coast through acres of banana plantations, two fishing villages, and along the winding and picturesque tropical countryside to the town of Soufrière, Soufrière, and taking photos of the spectacular twin peaks of the Patons as they rise sheer out of the sea. They'll also visit the Tural Waterfall, where white torrents of water gush 50 feet over a hillside cascading into a pool at the center of the beautiful garden in a kaleidoscope of color. They'll continue onward to the Caribbean's only drive-in volcano with its bubbling sulfur springs. Tour of this volcano, Sulfur Springs, brings visitors up close to more than 20 belching mud pools, multicolor sulfur deposits, and other assorted minerals such as iron, copper oxide, and magnesium baking and streaming on the surface. This black grayish mineral water is believed to have therapeutic qualities and it's common to see people bathing in the springs in order to remove blemishes or simply feel rejuvenated. Next, it's on to Fondo, the 19th century plantation where tour members walk along trails with breathtaking beautiful tropical flora to a local copra house where they'll see coconut dried and later to be processed into oil, margarine, and soap. They'll also have the opportunity to taste the locally grown co cocoa pods and see how they are sun dried before being shipped out, later to be processed and served as delicious chocolate bars. After an on site lunch, they climb aboard a catamaran for a relaxing return along the island's beautiful coastline. They stop for a swim before cruising through spectacular Marigo Bay on their way back to the dock and the waiting Jeeps, which will take them back to the hotels. That sounds like a cool adventure, huh, guys? On still another tour, clients can visit three spectacular waterfalls on the island. The first, the Paton Waterfall, gives them a chance to relax and soak in the warm water in a natural outdoor setting. Next, continue onward to the Spike Waterfall with the walk along a brief trail through the natural forest before taking still another cool dip in the fresh cascading water or this glorious waterfall. Finally, it's on to Toral Waterfall. Tour members enjoy another dip at the sea of this waterfall and the cold beverage in this amazing garden before heading back to the hotel. You have deep sea fishing, probably nothing more exciting than hooking onto a fighting fish on a deep sea fishing adventure. Whether you're an experienced angler or a newbie, St. Lucia has a number of charter boats available for deep sea fishing where clients can go after Wahoo, Tuna, Sailfish, Barracuda, Dorado, uh, Blue Marlin, Long Bill, Spearfish, Kingfish, Spanish Mackerel, um, Cavalli and a snapper from the fighting chair. Wow. Rotating chair method is used to ensure everyone gets a chance at a landing the big one. Most charters also throw in the beer, sodas, and water. You also have zip lining on the rainforest canopy adventure. The tour takes visitors on a drive along the east coast, then inland to the zip line welcome center situated on the heart of the rainforest. 
This is a thrilling adventure with visitors zipping along 500 feet of cable at heights ranging from 30 feet to 50 feet. They'll truly get bird's eye view as they zip through nine platforms, glide over the tree troughs across rivers and feel the thrill of flying through lush tropical vegetation. At the Rainforest Aerial Tram Rides attraction at the nature site, guests will be treated to breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean Sea. It's interesting to note that 60% of the species living in the forest canopy never come down to the ground. Rodney Bay Marina. Find plenty of tours and activities for clients at the Rodney Bay Marina, uh, where there's access to dozens of sea land combination charters and tours. Here you'll find deep sea fishing charters, whale watching, safaris, sailboats, sightseeing, as well as barefoot or skippered yacht day trips. Clients can join in a seafaring excursion to the volcanic Pitan Sea Islands, relax on a romantic sunset cruise, enjoy some serious partying, on a party catamaran to Sofrié, or enjoy swimming, snorkeling, or scuba, scuba diving day trips. In addition, tour companies and travel agency located on Rodney Bay Marina offer a wide variety of opportunities to hike, bird watch, explore St. Lucia's outstanding natural attractions, from horseback riding and hiking to rainforest adventures and high flying helicopter tours. For more information, visit stlucia.org. Two more, two more. You guys ready for the test? These are pretty long. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Inspire the senses. Your clients can maximize their St. Lucia vacation fun with um, a wealth of things to see and do throughout the lush, diverse, straight out of fairy tale island, from meandering beautiful botanic gardens to hiking and shopping and dining. You have the natural wonders. So, uh, so. Soufrier, a good place to experience some of the diversity is in Soufrier with the beautiful botan diamond botanical gardens and its mineral baths, along with the absolutely stunning diamond waterfall. There's a host of other things to see and do around Soufrier, much of it thanks to the area's history as a major sugar plantation. You have this aerial tram ride here, beautiful view, okay? In addition to the Diamond Falls, which is actually the lowest of the six waterfalls that tumble down the mountain from the volcano, nearby are some historic plantations that include Soufrié Estate, Mornay, Cabrero Estate, Fondo Estate, all of which are open to the public. In fact, the privately owned Diamond Falls and Mineral Baths less than a mile east of Soufrié are part of the Soufrié Estate dating from 1713. The baths originally built in 1784 were restored in the 1980s and some of the original 18th century baths still in use. At the entrance of the narrow path um, edged with tropical flowers shaded by stately palm leads to the bathhouse and a series of pools, each a different temperature. Beyond are the falls roaring out of a mineral streaked gorge and spilling through the gardens into the pools. You have sulfur springs. Two miles south of Soufre, um, clients can explore the drive-in volcano, which is what's what's left of the volcanic crater. Now protected by the St. Lucia Natural Trust, National Trust, visitors actually drive down to the edge of the volcanic activity to join a park guide who points them towards the seething pools of boiling mud and the clouds of streams that shoot 50 feet in the air. One of the world's most legendary natural spas is created from rain what rainwater falling year round into the boiling crater where it's heated and saturated with residues of sulfur, iron, copper, magnesium and zinc. The rich mineral pools and river lets um lets which satisfy beauty aficionados and know the pool's immeasurable value flow down the mountainside and into the six amazing waterfalls. Exploring the island's natural marvels. So you have My Cloud, still another beautiful botanical paradise located across the island from Soufrié on the eastern side of um, at Macau, Macau. Charming seaside village of about 2,700 is the Mimuku Gardens, 22-acre botanical garden that's part of an original 400-acre Mimuku estate owned by French nobleman Barun de Makud. 
in the 18th century, who was a French governor of the island. After the English recaptured the island, he willed the property to his wife as St. Lucian, knowing that according to British law, the property could not be taken away from her. Mrs. De McCood was called Ma McCood by the locals and gradually the estate was referred to in Creole as Plantation Ma Miku until it was simply called Ma Miku. All right, Mamaku Gardens, which opened in the public in 1998, boasts over 400 flowers and trees, plus a special garden of traditional medicinal herbs. In addition to the garden, there are original plantation ruins, as well as an ongoing archaeological dig that has already uncovered a variety of artifacts currently on display in the in Interpretation Center. Hiking and bird watching, no better way to enjoy the incredible beauty and biodiversity of St. Lucia than by taking advantage of the Maraud hiking trails around the main islands and Pigeon Island. Much of it is not too strenuous, although some hiking areas do demand a certain amount of stamina. But it's well worth the effort with trails meandering through the island's rainforest where clients will experience stunning waterfalls, occasional startling views of the Caribbean and the Atlantic or get bird's eye views of the Patons. They'll be able to hike past old plantation ground, spot ind indigenous bird life, such as the country's national bird, the St. Lucia parrot, the Amazonian versicolor, the St. Lucia oriole, and the St. Lucia black finch. Here's a comprehensive list of hiking areas your active vacation clients should visit. 15 minutes from Castries is the Union Nat Nature Trail and Mini Zoo which is rated as an easy hike and is compromised, comprised of land owned by the Union Agricultural Research Station that has been set aside for the then forestry division to be used as a nursery, which eventually constructed a hillside trail, garden trail, and medicinal garden as parts of its ecotourism products. Today's, today's Union, Union Nature Trail runs through that land where non-native tree species such as teak, mahogany, and blue maho were introduced. The hike itself starts from the visitor center next to the mini zoo, just beyond the forest nursery and traverses in a wide loop. The visitor center provides visitors with information on the forest and wildlife in general, while the mini zoo so showcases a number of indigenous as well as exotic species such as St. Lucia parrot, St. Lucia iguana, and more. It's a great place for family outings. Still another hiking spot near Castries is the Forestier Rainforest Trail. Part of an old French road that runs through an exotic rainforest, visitors start at the Heritage Trust Cottage where they're assigned a guide who will work out a route for uh, travelers based on their abilities. The overall hike is ranked as moderate and the three mile long trail begins as gentle slope through natural dense foliage meandering among incensus in trees that produce a white sap with a highly pungent smell as well as a number of large spectacular fig trees, amphiphytes, and fens. Clients will also like the idea that much of the flora is identified by signs and the fact that the knowledgeable guides are there to point out the highlights. All right, guys, we're almost done. I know you guys are getting tired, but make sure you stay on board for that test so you get your certificate, okay? We're almost done. There's a moderate hike located at the Barra de Isle Rainforest Trail along the highway between Castries and Denery. Only about 30 minutes from Castries, the Bear de Lyle Forest Reserve gets its name from the fact that it sits on a ridge dividing the eastern and western halves of St. Lucia, providing panoramic views of certain parts of the island from four lookout points along the trail. It takes approximately one hour to walk the one mile trail and another hour to climb to the top of Mount La Combe. From there, hikers can see cul-de-sac valley and the Caribbean Sea and the West and Mount Malbu Valley. Um, <clears throat> sorry, Malbu Valley um, and Fondue Beach on the Atlantic coast of the east. Bird watchers won't want to miss the Malay Bird Sanctuary Trail located in the heartland of St. Lucia, 45 minutes from the city of Castries and 15 minutes from Marigot Bay. Here, they'll find over 30 species of birds, including five endemic species, such as St. Lucia parrot and the St. Lucia black finch, the St. Lucia oriole and the St. Lucia peewee and the St. Lucia warbler. 
The trail also provides a breathtaking view of the Rizzo Dam, the largest in the Caribbean, Eastern Caribbean, with its output cap capacity of 6.3 mil million gallons of water daily. It takes approximately uh, two hours to complete the 1.73 mile walk, which is moderate to strenuous, located about 1,000 feet above sea level. More experienced hikers will want to try out the Ambaso Waterfall Trail, located within the 19,000 acre Central Forest Reserve, six miles east of Sofre, at the foot of the highest mountain, Mount Gimme. The Ambaso Waterfall Trail is a strenuous 2.5 mile trail situated in a remote but unbelievable scenic area combining the rainforest, cloud forest, and elfin woods. The backdrop is equally lovely with the Pataan Peaks um, and Mount Gimme. Ambasat means below the falls and the trail is most famous for its two cascading waterfalls and the pools of the head of the Tremos, Tremosi River where hikers can bathe in the pure rainforest water. Here too, they'll be able to enjoy rich bird life, including the blue hooded euphonia and the mountain whistler. Hikers not ready for the strenuous demands of the Ambasat Waterfall Trail can still trek in the forest reserve where the waterfall trails uh, is located at the more moderate pace, enjoying the reserve's numerous plants, um, such as bromelads, orchids, mushrooms, lions, and other attached to large buttress uh, dangling on the sides of the trail. Here too, hikers will enjoy occasional long distance views of the Caribbean. And at one point along this trail, they emerge out of the forest and walk right into a magnificent view of the island's highest peak. Great photo opportunities on this hike. St. Louis offers beautiful scenery waiting to be explored. Okay. All right. I don't know you guys want me to keep going. We can just read through. Um, all right. The rainforest. All right. Does the rainforest reputation, most pristine rainforest located 30 minutes from Vogue Fort in the south? Um, Definite possibility, rare birds. Finally, tell clients to explore the rainforest reserve, a three hour trek with a guide from the forest and lands department. 30 minutes from Rodney, they'll trek past indigenous tree species along the trails, orchids and mushrooms. Throughout the tour, they'll see beautiful multicolored birds, including indigenous St. Lucia parrot, as well as magnificent view of Mount Gimme. You can contact the forest and land department for more. And then you have all the shopping, most popular arts and craft products produced right on the island. Sofriere, the craft market is on the north side. Oh, you can't hear? Can you guys hear? Got it. Okay. Castries, visitors, lively party atmosphere. In addition to the baskets and clay of the Indian traditions, also find beautiful, authentic wood carvings, colorful produce, market, photography. Um, photographs and shopping for spices. Big outdoor um, on Pene Street and Arcade where they can find huge collections of souvenirs. Chisol community is known as an art center. Many island crafts people and artists live and work here, okay? Um, given the number of cruise ships that visit St. Lucia, the large number of shopping outlets located near the piers where travelers can find a much broader array of items beyond the souvenir category, much of it duty-free. La Place Carinage, for example, one-time cargo shed that is now a two-level waterfront duty-free complex. Boutiques selling everything from China, crystal jewelry, um, uh, built specifically for the cruise ship passengers, most comprehensive collection of shops uh, right next to the birthing area. You have to show your cruise pass or airline ticket to the shopkeeper to purchase duty-free goods. Except um, purchasing um, purchases, except liquor and tobacco, will be delivered either to the airport or the cruise ship. So clients are traveling by air, tell them to wait until the last day. Okay, two miles north um, is a modern mall. Thirty-five shops. Visitors can find beachwear, books, electronics. And then if you have big groups, whether your clients need a series of meetings and destinations, unforgettable events and amazing tropical settings, St. Lucia has excellent MICE program and partners. St. Lucia is an excellent choice of superior destination management companies, team building competent, competence, varied transportation elements and severe 
fair to suit the spe pe peculiarity nuances and preference for any group, okay? From a custom catamaran transfer from tr airport to resort, helicopter transfer, spirited, inspiring boot camp, modern conferences, et cetera. Our team has incentive, incentive planners make you the star of the events. Through expert consultation, you can create these seamlessly, okay? So you have all these for conventions, guys. So check that out. Cuisine, cunicopia, tropical fruit and vegetables, okay? Overview of local produce at the central market. French influences on local co cooking is strong. Caribbean dishes are the soup, callaloo, leafy green, similar to spinach, stuffed, stuffed crab, pepper pot stew, curry chicken or goat, and lamb, which is conch. Um, and then you have soup and stews prepared in coal pot, rustic clay casserole, clay stand, hot coals. One of the culinary landmark restaurants is called Coal Pot, and that's in Castries. Jump ups and street fairs are the place to eat grilled fish and chicken legs, baked and fried biscuits, accompanied by rum and beer. Dining options, no doubt the sheer number of infringed flagged resorts, all inclusive broad and selection, international dining, but exotic fusion fare, tree, true Creole cuisine are the cornerstones. So here's all the different um, restaurants you can recommend to your clients, okay? All right, I think we're done. Useful information. So you have the location is located here, situated between Martinique and St. Vincent. The climate here, year round, June to November, be prepared for showers. Time zone, standard, Atlantic standard, four hours be behind Greenwich, five hours during daylight, savings time, one hour Eastern. Language is English is the official language, but they also speak French Creole, commonly called Patois, which is used in day-to-day -day affairs. The airlines, American, Delta, JetBlue, and United. In Canada, Air Canada, Sunwing, Transit, WestJet. Check your St. Lucia for updates. The airports, you have Hawanara, 40 miles, and then the uh, George Charles outside of Castries. Getting around, minibuses, taxi minibuses serve as the main ground transportation. The buses run on varied times. Fares range from $2.50 to $8. All minibuses have green number plates with an M prefix. Uh, taxis are easily available at taxi stands or by telephone. All authorized taxis have a light blue number plate with a TX prefix. prefix. Fares vary by destination and nature of trip. Before you hire a taxi, confirm the fare. From the airport, uh, take um, it takes about an hour. Auto rental cars, four-wheel drive vehicles, scooters can be booked in advance locally at the airport's hotels or rental offices. Temporary driver's license is required for visitors. They may be obtained upon presentation of a valid driver's license on arrival at the airport, the police station in Castries, or the car rental offices. Remember to drive on the left side. Ferries, those who prefer to do much of their own traveling on the water will find that St. Lucia is well serviced by ferries, making it easy to include St. Lucia on an island hopping tour. Several ferry lines connect St. Lucia with Martinique, Martinique Dominica, and Guadalupe. Visit expressdelize.com, which operates a ferry service between St. Lucia and Martinique. Other ferry services available um, on stlucia.org. Helicopters, spectacular aerial tours on St. Lucia are possible. Helicopter transfers between the airports reduce the travel time between south and north of the island. Here's the link for the helicopters. Uh, Duty-free allowance for arrival passengers is 200 cigarettes or a half pound of tobacco, 50 cigars, 40 fluid ounces of wines or spirits. Duty-free shopping is available at Point Seraphine, La Place, Caronag, the shopping malls and departure lounge at the airport. Currency is the Eastern Caribbean dollar, which is linked to the U.S. dollar at the exchange rate of U.S. dollars, $1 to $2.70. Electricity, 220 volt. 20 cycles, you need the few hotels are at 110. Adapters are generally available. Dial codes, uh, St. Lucia is 1758, 
service charge, value added tax of 10% on hotel bills, service charge 10% is also applicable. In some instances, these charges are included in prices quoted, so it is best to clarify. Prices on labels in shops and supermarkets may attract value added tax. Entry requirements, foreign nationals visiting or entering St. Lucia are required to have a valid passport from their country. They should be valid three months upon entering. Vis visas are not required where visitor is a US, UK, Canadian citizen or where there is an agreement or exception between home country and St. Lucia. Some countries do require visas. And then departure tax for all passengers over 12 years leaving the island via, um, for passengers leaving via sea, the departure tax is 33 to thir or $13 to be paid at departure. All right, I think we're done. Woo, that was a long one, huh guys? All right, you guys ready? What year did St. Lucia gain full independence? Is it 1979? And at 1967, wasn't it 1967 or something like that? Maybe I'm wrong. Which one was it? I thought it was 79. I thought it was 79. Oh. All right, let's try it. I was thinking 67 too. Okay, we should have done we'll it see. yet, but we'll see. We'll see what, what fort sits atop Mornay Fortune? Fort Charlotte. What is the island's capital? The one that starts with the sea. Castries. Yeah. What two European powers battled over possession of St. Lucia? The French and the British, or French and England. Yep. What month yeah. does St. Lucia Jazz and Art Festival take place? I'm going to say May. No. It was the end of April. It starts the end of April, and April ain't on there. So everybody here, let's May. do a hint. It's May. Cultural it's May. highs. All right, we're going to try May. Yes, it's May. All right. Where do the sea, Seafood Friday festivals take place? Mary got. Hello. Robertson. What Sorry. month is Carnival in full swing? July. June, I think. Was it June or July? July. I think it's July. Okay. Try July. Is there a waiting period for couples wishing to get married in St. Lucia? A couple of days, I think. No. No, no waiting. No waiting. For couples wanting to get married, same day marriage license costs as much as? 125, I think. Not sure. Yeah. What restaurant is located in the heart of Rodney Bay? Oh my no idea. Was that the cool remember. pot? Dasheen. 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 What resort spa offers shared moment tree treatment rooms for couples? Uh, landings. Landings. Landing. Which St. Lucia Sandals property features the millionaire suite? Remember that? Sandals Regency Lunch Yeah. Oh, the talk. Yeah. What resort is in the north of the island specifically emphasizes wellness and spa treatments? Body. It's a body holiday? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Approximately how many whale species can be spotted in St. Lucia? Hmm. 20. 20. Yeah, I got that one. Leatherback turtles can be spotted on what beach? Grand, I, I, that Grand uh, Anna. Grand, Ops, Grand Ops Beach. <laughs> All right. Where can one find the Diamond Botanical Gardens? So, so free. Mm -hmm. Two free. Yeah. Two free. Two free. Two free. Okay, what I is the island's the national bird? <laughs> Isn't it this one? That one. They, um, that one. They, Amazon. All this <laughs> yeah, um, that one. Uh, the versicolor. All right. What hiking trail is part of the old French road? Uh, or 
rainforest. Uh, oh, with Bartle 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 try that one. Which one? The Bartle 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 Number of airports on the island. There's two. Oh. Which UNESCO World Heritage Site can be found on St. Lucia? Pitons. Oh. All right. Let's see how we did, guys. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> this is a oh. long one. Mm -hmm. My head's mm -hmm. spinning. All right. Missed five on the first. Okay. So... Yay, I passed. Okay, so you reached 17. So we printed our certificate. Okay. Oh, um, mine is still spinning. Okay, uh, let me know. We can maybe go back and redo. Okay. Oh my God. I got a seven. Uh, Did you pass? Did you get your certificate? I got a seven. I got an 85. Yeah. I didn't see mine. I have to redo mine. Cool. All right, well, let's, let's go back oh. again. We'll go back He's again. Taking, um, All right, so it's 79. Mine is still not doing. Okay, let's go back. 79, Fort Charlotte. Cassidy. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. It's all going, going back? too fast. Yeah, I'm going back to show you the answers. Yeah, I'm not, I'm How do we go too back? Too restart quiz. It says restart quiz. Restart, restart quiz. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, 1979 was right. Okay. Okay. What was um? What fort city was Mon Fortune? Yeah. Well, I can't hear nothing. Anything. All right, you guys ready to do it again? Yes. All right. Yes. Yeah. So Fort Charlotte. I'm going crazy. Pastries. Sorry. Okay. England and France. May. This one we missed. It's uh Anse Lare. The seafood is Anse Lare. Or is it Margo? Anse. Or it's Marigo. I don't know which one we picked. What's it saying? Oh, this was wrong. This is the right one. Okay. Yes. All right. Carnival in full swing is July. Yeah, it was right. There's no waiting period. It's $204. Thank you, Mary, for putting the answers in there. All right. So it's $204. It's Doolittles. Okay. The landings. The golf resort. Body holiday. 20 whale species. Grand Anse Beach. Souffre. The Amazona, the Rainforest Trail, two airports, the Patons, and that's it. Did everybody I pass? Got 100, yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> See why it's good to do together, right? So congratulations. So look at this. Look at this beautiful um, certificate. Make sure you guys post it. Make sure you share all this amazing information out there um, on social media. Let them know. You can book all these amazing things to do, all these exciting places to see, okay? Um, so again, congratulations, everybody. I'm excited for you. Uh, next week, we're doing the wedding specialist, okay? So, you know, you guys can do these on your own, but why not do them together? You know, yeah, it's a two hours out of your day, but look, look at all the information you learned and now you're done. You don't have to go back and do it later, right? All right, the UNESCO question was the patons, the patons. 
All right. So congratulations, everybody. Uh, our next session is. Um, Thank you so much, Marnie. Of course. So uh, our next session is um, Trafalgar. We were going to try that again on the 20th. I know a lot of people had trouble registering with it. So try to make sure you guys get in today because it, it was a hard one for some reason. We couldn't get in and register. People had to wait. Um, so again, go here. Um, the link is right here. Get in and register um, ahead of time. If for any reason we can't do it, we'll do another one. But it's right here, um, Trafalgar, uh, right here, I think it is the 20th, right? So this is the link. Um, we're doing this on Saturday, I mean, on Tuesday. Again, it was kind of hard. The link that I have, I don't know. Um, could you please email the Google Docs of these certificates? Um, email, okay. Um, hold on. I got I've got a presentation I got to do in a half hour and I still have to get a lot of stuff done. So um, what, what doc, this one here, you want this one, Kim, sent to you? Is that the one? Again, the links are here also, guys. But yes. Yeah, this one. Okay, let me go in real yeah. quick and do it real quick for you. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome, of course. And again, it's it's uh, if anybody needs it, it's in the um it's in the uh incentive voucher group. Okay, so here, Kim, what is your K-H-A-R-R-I-S? One two nine six oops six at gmail.com. Um uh ba, 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 list. Okay, there we go. All right. Um what is the incentive voucher? Okay, that's this one here that um I I do incentive vouchers for everybody. Um, Sandy actually takes care of those for us. So tell Sandy, thank you so much. She's amazing. Um, get into this group. I'm doing a live training on Thursday. So join me for that. If not under guides, you'll find the training there also. Okay. All right. Hey, Marnie. Yes. It's saying that we need to to have four or five rules to get into the group and Correct. it's in an incentive chat. Correct. Go down when you're signing in, the answers are in that part. Because if you don't answer, we don't approve you. So um, if when you go to sign up, if you read all the information, you'll see those two questions. Um, the time right here, Tuesdays, 10 a.m. Fridays, 10 a.m., and then Saturdays, 8 a.m., okay? And then start thinking of what you guys want to do for next month. I have Mediterranean, um, Colombia, um, Mexico, culture, holidays. So let me know of other ones you guys want to do for next month. Um, again, check the list because we may have already done them, but there's different ones that we can do. Um, you know, like, like this, we did, you know, three different um, St. Lucia's, right? So, Quatar. So, um, you know, maybe we have one here, but you found another one that you want to do. So let's start thinking of things for next month to do. Um, if you're planning on going somewhere, you have a client that has, you know, they're, they're going to Puerto Vallarta. You know, when I was going on my cruise, I got in and did Puerto Vallarta because I wanted to know what am I going to what should I see? What should I not miss when I'm there? Okay. I'll resend the list of trainings. So you mean this, this spreadsheet? Oh, that's the vouchers. This one here. There you go. All right, guys. So we'll be starting the schedule for next month. So hope to see you guys Tuesday. If not, then on Friday. We're going to finish, hopefully, Canada. Canada has been a long one, but it's amazing. And then we're doing St. Lucia um, uh, Expert, or no, we did Expert Romance, I think, next time. All right, guys. Thank you. This is recorded. I will have it posted on my YouTube channel. If you're not in my YouTube channel, it is right here.
Um, I post all my certificates. I also post my um, the the op opportunity um, video. If you guys want to share the opportunity and you can't get them to a live webinar, I have it there. The incentive voucher trainings right here, and then tons of other trainings here. Okay. All right. Have fun, guys. If we don't see you at the beaches of the world, we'll see you at the bank. Love you too, Linda. Take your take care of yourself. Sit down and relax. And I uh, love you guys. Give my fur babies a kiss. Um, as you guys know, I'm traveling. I'm in Nebraska for three months living in an RV. And Linda, our amazing business partner, is staying at the house with my daughter and my animals. So I love her. And she's amazing. And she just had surgery yesterday. So she's, she's kind of hurting. So send her um, hugs and prayers. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Yeah, we'll we'll Thank see you, you soon. All right. And, and don't forget to join me Sunday for corporate training. I'll see you tomorrow night. All right. Bye, guys. Uh, you're awesome. Thank you. So are you. Bye. <laughs>